Hi, still Maya, still from Duchenne. I have feelings now! <laughs> and this poem is for Mrs. Kate Summer. She likes verbs. She oozed them, an orchestra of action words and sounds to tell stories I remember hearing her. The way she bumbled breaths when we shared our hearts in the form of pen strokes, the way her pencil giggled across the paper. I remember how she would smile when we were finished, half moon of white teeth and praise, and she would invoke her own personal prayer. Shall we say it together, ladies? And we would. Verbs! We cradled the afternoons, stuffed them with the stories we had cramped under our fingernails and stuffed under tongues. She was the first one who taught me that I could unhinge those stories, that I could pour them and spill them and make it all beautiful in the end, in the end. We expected those stories to go on forever. Open-ended artistic creation like the unfinished poems we had left limitless so many times before, we thought she was limitless. And she was, I suppose. Sitting in her desk, sunlight washing her golden, she was the first one who taught me how to write. I was raw, inky, a mess, and she made me legible. She made all of us realize that writing is the only remedy. Remedy for sleepless eyelids and stress and futures too far ahead to be found, and the constant pounding of society saying there is no remedy for being different. There is no remedy for cancer. She said so slow. Letting it seep from only unguarded pores, she seemed solid, concrete. She was a verb. She would never stop. She would never die. But die is a verb, too. All insubordinate D, slithery I, it is dull, final, cold, and she was none of those things. She does not deserve to dwindle down to the word die. Because she is still alive. When I close my eyes, I see her woven into the woodwork of the room. Truly, I do not think she ever left, because remembering is a verb too. She is still a verb in my mind. She is still my creative writing, slum poetry, teacher, coach, friend in my mind. She is still moving forward. She will never stop being my verb.